right, ladies and gents, it's trial times. I just beat the trial, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it. We got our lovely scathe Viking music here in the background, and here we go. Now, with this trial, what you want to do is you want to start out with the potions like normal, okay? Going in, you will see a very angry Shadow Koshai over there. Give him a love tap, okay? Block the first hit with your, uh... With your happy little powers of, you know, whacking. If you take a whack, unfortunately, you're going to lose Predator. Try not to do that, like I've just shown you. All right, that's the bad example. And there's a bad example again. Shouldn't really happen, but oh well. It is what it is. Okay, now, this is the second part where you have to use your Predator. Now, he will sometimes jump away from you. When he's jumping on top of you, okay? What you want to do is use your Predator right there. Oh, my God. You want to use your discipline right there to get a give him a good whack. Now, if you do take damage, unfortunately, you're going to have to waste time taking potions like this. But you'll more or less be okay. All right. Sorry, this is a terrible run. This is why sometimes people will run multiple times to give you guys a good run. In fact, I could shoot it again, but I'd be lazy. So my best time, which I did the during the previous run, was the 224. But what I'm going to show you guys here is just whatever timing I get. Either way, the build is still sound. It works, but you're just going to have to be careful about losing Predator, which can unfortunately happen. Just try and make sure that you actually get the right hits on him. Because one of the biggest issues that a lot of people face will be, well, this part. You've got to lay the smack down on him. Then once he's smacked down, try if you can to secure a wound. Securing a wound will buff your damage, attack speed, everything else, all the good stuff. All right, and then try not to lose your predator bonus. That's all you want to do. So I'm just going to go ham with that. And then whack him down again. All right, pay close attention to your potion timing. And if you get part breaks, that's really, really good. Okay, once your potions are out, please, please, please take more potions. All right, and pay close attention to those umbral orbs. Why? Because they're going to be very bad for you. All right. Those explosions are going to be annoying to deal with, but that's okay. Now, again, focus on your wounding. And as soon as this happens, right, rewind time. It's okay if you still take damage, but potion up while you've got the invulnerability going, okay? And as soon as you can, do your full slam. Okay, if you do that, you will generally be okay. Now, after this, you should be doing this again. So, knock him down. There you go. Good, good, good. And that's all it really takes to beat him. Now, of course, this timing is slower than my previous one. I do apologize for that. I lost Predator way too many times. And I just lost again. But if you keep doing runs, you will pretty much be able to get the 224 that I showcased. And if you need to, you can actually check the stream where I did this. It will be my usual Thursday stream. All right. Oh, there we go. I finally triggered Predator. I actually triggered it a lot earlier during my other run, which was kind of awesome, but... Anyway, bang. Okay, sorry that this one is 250, but... You'll generally be able to achieve a 2 minute 24 kill. Alright, and just to piss off the haters, alright, because they're all like, Uh, you didn't kill it in 2 minutes, so you can't call that a 2 minute kill. I'm gonna call this video 2 minute kill on purpose, okay? Just to piss them off, but yes. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys the build that did this, and it's literally uh, a very simple to use build. It's it's not that difficult, but you want to try and trigger your discipline ASAP so and try not to lose Predator like I did. Unfortunately, uh, losing it early is what caused the time to stack up all the way. So I'm going to show you how this is done, plain and simple. You'll uh, Let me just remove my overlay so you guys can see the full build. Uh, you want to start with the Weeping Hours, okay? Pulse Cell, Pulse Cell here. Special is Reaper's Dance. Mod is Hurricane Blades. Uh, Volomir's Revenge will be your uh, Bond of Choice. Okay, Discipline is your Omni Cell. Uh, Scarn's Defiance with a Catalyst Cell. You want Chrono Helm with a Berserker Cell. You want your Scrape Wing Jacket with an Adrenaline Cell. You've got your Malkyrion's Grasp with a Predator Cell. And Time Weave Leggings with a Berserker Cell. Overall, what this is going to give you is plus six Adrenaline, all right? The lower your stamina, the more damage you deal. Plus 6 Berserker. All right, 35% bonus damage as long as you keep attacking. Catalyst to boost the effectiveness of your tonics. Blitz, Frenzy, Aether Drive, Standard. Uh, pulse, so you can time your slams. 
Predator, another 35% damage as long as you don't take a hit. Very important. Uh, Aether Hunter will help you if it ever goes Aether Charged. Um, and it comes to fault with the Volamir. I just think that the Volamir is worth it. If you really want to, you can use the Resicuri as well. Uh, it will free up one Cunning slot. Which you can use for something else if you... Like, it will give... Sorry, it will give you Cunning instead. Which you can add in somewhere. But then you'd have to give up a slot. So you might have to give up Predator. Uh, honestly, I prefer the Volamirs for this one. It's just simpler to use. And that's about it. A Zeal is just an extra bonus because why not? You know, you may as well deal a little extra damage. If you do end up with Cunning, all right, you want to use... In fact, I may as well show you. If you want to use the Resicuri's uh, Bond of Fangs, right, you will swap the... Excuse me, the Chrono Helm for the Dark Watch, and you will have Berserker there. This will give you plus six Cunning, plus six Pulse, and you can absolutely run this uh, build to get to about two minutes. All right, um, it's just up to you whether you want Zeal or not. I, I tend to like Zeal because it keeps me alive, and especially in this case, right, we have no, we have nothing defensive in this build, so I like the zeal to to keep me, you know, steady. But if you really want to, you can go even more flawless with cunning and the Resicuri bond and just go ham. All right, genuinely up to you. Okay, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. My lovely chat is having fun by themselves. If you guys want to support my content, other than liking, sharing, subscribing, you can turn the notification bell on. You can send a tip via the link in the description of the video watch my streams uh watch ads basically watch youtube with ad block off or if you have youtube premium just watch any videos you can also join as a channel member gaining access to various perks and in fact we're gonna thank our channel members right now so before we leave this we must thank our channel members okay you guys ready all right let's thank our channel members Starting at the very top, we've got Death Dawning 982 at Plus Ultra. We've got Jerry Fast, Joshua Moritz, Rogue Assassin, Old Mr. Cream Buff, and Zack NFG, all prestige. They are fantastic, fantastic individuals. Our honored robots, we've got the following. We've got uh, Conrad C, Miss Eve, Grim Reaper 2296, Marion Whiffling, Jacob Gabrick, Jammer Boy, Turtle Dove, Nate the Great, Curtis Shussler, MJ Riffle, Shadow, Corey Ryu, Benjamin Savage, Lady Neo, Anarchy Inc., Greasy Burger, Stefan Geyer, Killer Team Gaming, and Coda CMF. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you all, and thanks to all of our cool bots as well. We'll see you guys on the next one.